On October 16th, I placed an order for some Christmas lights with AliExpress. And this is just my experience. Others might have very different experiences. After a few days, I received an email and a link. I clicked on that link and it said that the delivery date is now October 25th. And it kept asking me to confirm received, but I never did receive it. And up here you can see, I have six hours, 39 minutes and 18 seconds to report any problems. And at this point, I still haven't received the goods. So looking back online, the only choices I have are to confirm received, not to dispute the receipt. So I'll log back in a little while later, six hours, 38 minutes and 44 seconds left to go to do something. Otherwise, they will auto close it and call it as delivered. The delivery was originally intended to arrive on October 24th. And when it was pushed to October 25th, I was watching for delivery so that I could go ahead and install it. So logging back in, I tried to click on some options and it came to the home page is not available that i could not access the various sites it said that access could only be achieved on the app i did not want to download the app So I started a chat session first with AliExpress and had a chat with them. And all they said was to go back and ask USPS where it is or to, or to go back to the store. And if the store doesn't do anything to come back to them. So this is a circular process. It's not optimized for a good customer experience. It may well work for others, but I found the process somewhat frustrating. So here's the part where we're chatting with the AliExpress AliExpress is somewhat responsive. You at least get a person or an AI to talk with. Whereas uh, with the store, you post a message and you wait. And uh, maybe they'll reply, maybe they won't. So here, I've gone ahead and typed into AliExpress that I have not heard back uh, for a while. Uh, and uh, that I might go back and look at a chargeback as a possible alternative. Um, and reiterating that the order was not delivered. And also capturing that since the delivery date was pushed and I was anxious to get it implemented, I was watching for this delivery. Switching back to the uh, vertical view. And we can see the current status. It says that we're reviewing your request. Um, and the submission time was October 27. And blocking some private information out here. Uh, we looked at the fact that they say it was delivered. We've gone back in, even though it says the estimated delivery date is October 25th. So click contact seller. And this is a different type of a communication. You get the shop number. And then let's click need help. It gives you some choices here, order not received, refund, etc. So we'll select order not received. And here are the two orders that we placed that uh, did not arrive. Let's pick one of them and see what happens if we click the send button. And it says that a dispute is recorded uh, and they're checking the case and it takes two working days. Uh, it's now several days later and no word. I have clicked the urge the dispute team on one occasion. clicked urge dispute team again and now we have Astrid popping up and it's interesting to note the photograph that's uh, represented for Astrid because you'll see that after a while they'll ask me to hold on 
while they do an investigation. And then the chat will close because there was no response. So with Astrid, we'll just let her know that I've been trying to get a replacement for the order not received for a week. And letting Astrid know that I've sent the seller two messages. And after a, a little pause, we get a message back from Astrid. And now it's asking me to select the items that I'm challenging. And it's one order for those, both those items. And now it says, please stay online while I'm checking your concern. And this is where after a short time, relatively short time, it just logs you off. Here you are, since you have not consulted for a long time, will close your session. And then that message disappears. Then it says, because you have not responded to the customer services messages for a long time, the system automatically ended the session. So just in case they're there, I ask the question, is it going to time out? And we have a new person, Kia, and the photograph looks very similar. And greetings, can I help you again? So we go through this process a second time and I'll try and fast forward through this piece of it. It's beginning to feel like we have an AI customer service module here. And while it's very courteous, the key issue is that it seems unable to resolve the issue at hand. So now it's gone back to re-engaging, asking for an order number, etc. And it'll take me a while to find it and I'll be right back. I found the order number, so we'll jump back into the chat and put that order number in. The order number is in and we get a courteous message back and it asks for a two to three minute wait while they look at the system. And what will happen is well before a minute, just about just about a minute, uh, the session will terminate because of a lack of contact on our end. So it now it says the package has been delivered and you've initiated a refund request. And uh, that's slightly different. I clicked check the current progress of the refund request and uh, making a note that the package was not delivered. And here we are, they're recommending that we contact the logistics company and that's the postal service. And then the system asks for a review of the customer service agent, whether it's a human or an AI bot. I don't think that a high rating is deserved. The challenge is that the processes in place don't appear to make it easy for a customer to select a refund or a return uh, under these models. So there you have it, the communication process and the review at the end of the cycle. So we ended the session and I went through the chargeback process. We'll see whether we get a chargeback. Uh, but overall, the experience is suboptimal in terms of addressing things that are not received. And I did end up buying these lights at another location locally for just a little bit more. I wanted to test the AliExpress model because in some situations, they're quite a bit cheaper. It might be a little uncertain on delivery date, but they do arrive is what I'd heard. And I wanted to get comfort that this was the case. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.